Hello, Leon here from backintelligence.com where we help people manage their back pain from home as well as help them fix their postures. And today we have Dr. David Oliver who is going to give you three self-tests that you can do from your home to see if you have shoulder impingement. Shoulder impingement is gonna cause you pain at the anterior or the front part of your shoulder as well as it could happen on the top or the back part of the shoulder. So these are three ways that you can self-test yourself to see if you do indeed have shoulder impingement. That way you can start uh, working on correcting it. I should say the objective of all these three tests that Dr. David Oliver is gonna show you is to uh, cause you pain okay and a little discomfort so he's gonna put your arm in certain ways and positions to see if, if you feel pain and if you start feeling some pain symptoms then that means that you have a shoulder impingement so it's just a way to know shoulder impingement is a common condition we see all the time most often I see it in patients that sit at computers a lot because of that rounding forward that actually causes a compression over the rotator cuff that's all shoulder impingement generally is most commonly it's an impingement of the rotator cuff muscles and there's a few tests you can use to kind of see if that's potentially what you have going on so essentially what you want to do is you want to take the rotator cuff into a more vulnerable position and then try to elevate your arm because most symptoms from impingement occur when people try to raise their arm overhead. So a couple simple tests. The first one, most basic one, is take one hand and stick it on your opposite shoulder and then you're just going to take that elbow and you're going to raise it up. So as you lift up, if you start to feel pain develop in the shoulder, that's not a good sign. That's generally a sign you're impinging something and it shouldn't cause pain. So you can do one side, and then you can compare the other side and see if there's a difference. You shouldn't feel pain when you do these activities. You can feel a little stretch or a little tension, but it shouldn't cause any pain in your shoulder. The next test is basically a test that takes that one to a little bit further. So you could take this arm and you're just gonna bring it across your chest. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your other arm on top. You're gonna grab your elbow and you're gonna start to bend down. So I'm using this elbow to push my hand down. So I'm pushing my hand down, I'm rotating internally my shoulder here, and I'm trying to bring it across my chest. So again, we're looking to impinge the shoulder. If you have impingement or you have some sort of rotator cuff involvement, this is probably not gonna feel good. It's probably gonna cause pain, especially the further you push. Again, do both sides. You take the arm across, other arm goes on top, grabs the elbow. This elbow is gonna to start to apply downward pressure as you bring your arm across your body, looking for pain in the shoulder. The third test we can do is essentially the same thing. We're just looking for different ways to see if it's impinged or not. So you're gonna take your arm and you're gonna rotate your thumb downward. You're gonna start with the arm down at your side. With your thumb down, you're just gonna to start to raise the arm in front of you as high as you feel comfortable. If it starts to hurt, you may have some sort of impingement. This specifically rotates your supraspinatus muscle into a path of more vulnerability. If you have any irritation or inflammation, it'll hurt. And a way to test that is then to take the hand and rotate it outward, then do the same thing. So now what you're doing is you're taking those rotator cuff muscles out of the way. And if you say, wow, that feels significantly better, zero pain, but the way with internal rotation hurts, then more than likely you have some sort of impingement going on in that shoulder. All of these tests can be indicative of shoulder impingement, but generally you need at least more than one of them to be positive. So if you see a positive with just one test, either you have a very slight condition or you don't really have shoulder impingement. But if you see two or three of the tests that are positive, then more than likely you have shoulder impingement. All right, we hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give us a like, as well as subscribe to this YouTube channel for more videos like this. Also, if you'd like us to send you three exercises to correct your forward head and rounded shoulder posture, you know, the slouch posture that a lot of people are suffering from today, we'd love to send you three exercises to help you fix that. If you'd like to get them, there's gonna be a link here on the video somewhere, or there's gonna be a link down below in the description. Just go to that page, enter your email information, and we'll send you these videos right away.